Hi there, patriots, freedom lovers, constitutionalists, anti-global tyrannists. Welcome to my 90th episode. There's a lot to talk about. I, overall, I am very optimistic. Surprise, surprise. I'm always optimistic. I, 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 no, let me take that back. I'm not always optimistic. I go through my down periods, but I'll never talk to you when I'm down. I don't like spreading doom and gloom. And I, fortunately, if I get into a kind of a doom and gloom, it passes really in a couple hours. Now, I consider that a benefit of the way my brain physically or whatever operates because I'm, under, I'm convinced that it's, that's not always under our conscious control. But anyway, I'm feeling good. I was reading in my journal. As many of you know, I've kept a journal off and on, but for mostly on since 1966. <laughs> So it, it's so valuable because we forget, we forget. But I was reading about the November 3rd election, 2020 election, and how excited I was because I was absolutely convinced that Trump was gonna win big. You know, as you know, I voted in every presidential election, pretty much every election, since I first voted in 1972 for George McGovern, unfortunately, but I just turned 18 year, that year, and thus, you know, we were given the right to vote. That had just passed. So, as many of you know, I voted Democratic for the Democratic candidate every year until 2016, I voted for Trump. In 2020, you know, so I've observed, let me just say, I've observed many, many different presidential campaigns throughout the years. And as you know, I worked on the Clinton-Gore 1992 presidential campaign in Little Rock. I was on the issue staff. So I was, I've been heavily, heavily involved in presidential campaigns. So I thought my assessment was pretty good that Trump was gonna win big. There have never been those kind of rallies. There have never been that kind of support. And there was the walkaway movement. There were all of these things going on. So whatever, a number of votes he got in 2016, he was for sure gonna get that and more in 2020. Because in 2016, he was a bit of an unknown, but he had done so well that I just didn't know of anybody who had voted for him in 2016 who was gonna vote for Biden in 2020. It was, if it went any way, it went the other way. And then in my journal, I'm reading about, you know, Trump is ahead. That night I was very excited. And then all these ballots were coming in, these mail-in ballots. And it was starting to change. But I, I, I thought, well, this can't happen. And, and people were very upset about it. Of course, this was, this was happening primarily in the battleground states. And I remember... Yeah, I've often told you all that if I read something before I go to bed at night or see something on television, sometimes it can really bother me that night and interfere with my sleep, so I try not to do that. But Nancy Pelosi had said something. She said, we have many arrows in our quiver. And something about that made me very uneasy. Like, what was she talking about? I mean, in many ways, weren't we all so innocent? Weren't we all so innocent? Now, for my YouTube subscribers, I'm stopping right here and I'll say goodbye, but I hope you join me on Rumble where I'll continue this discussion.